On Saturday, folks venturing out into the fine fall weather had a chance to see open kettle apple butter making at the Cecil County Farm Museum's annual Apple Butter Festival. The event is held by the Cecil County Farm Museum at their continually evolving site at the School of Technology. Hello, I'm here with Herb Lesby from the Cecil County Farm Museum. Herb, can you tell us how the apple butter making event got started? Well, I guess on our end it got started when we uh, partnered with Elk Creeks uh, quite a few years ago. And then uh, I guess it's probably been close to eight, ten years ago when we kind of went separate ways and we started doing ours up there and they're, they're still doing ours down at the uh, Beehive there. So that's kind of how we got started. They were needing help. I guess their generation of people at that time were getting older and now we're kind of running into the same thing where ours are getting older too. So. <laughs> then it seems a, like a great idea to, to partner with the School of Technology because you've got all these students who are helping carry on the tradition. Yeah, they've got a lot of different ideas. They've been helping us around clean up the site and do some tree trimming and uh, things like that and they're uh, bringing some of their skills down here and things and hopefully we'll be able to use more of their skills to help us out. What, what do people have to look forward to when they come to the apple butter making festival? Uh, they Looking at the, how the apple butter was made in the open kettles, uh, we have our bake, bake table set up, uh, vendors, um, antique tractors and antique cars and trucks, whatever anybody brings in, usually try to have some entertainment and uh, just come down and have a good time and walk around and see what's here. Things change every year. Great, thanks so much. I'm here with Brittany Rigdon, who's a, um, with the School of Technology Natural Resources Program. Brittany, can you tell us about the Natural Resources Program at the School of Technology? Sure. So our program oversees pretty much uh, greenhouse production, floral design, landscape management, um, and small engine repair. So the students go through the program and learn those different industry standards and how to go out into the community and pick up those jobs after they graduate. And how has your program been involved with today's festival? So we have about 20 or so students through natural resources, ag science, and welding volunteering today um, through with parking. We did set up. My students came out about two weeks ago and started pruning trees, mulching around the site, um, the up upkeep of today. And then this past week, we've put together, as you can see, um, mums and flowers arrangements, and we've partnered up with the welding class to make floral hooks. And so, yeah, there's a lot of different stuff going on. Um, Ag Science has face painting for the little kids, and so they were practicing this week and trying to come up with creative ideas to get the little ones involved in the day. Great. Thank you so much. Absolutely. The hard work of apple butter making begins in the early hours of the morning and continues till the product is ready. Okay. Okay, so you start out in the morning around 2 o'clock and you fill these kettles up full of cider and then you put a fire under there and then you just got to boil it down to about halfway and then that's when you start putting apples in. It might take about three to four hours to do that. Okay. And then once you start adding apples, you just got to keep churning. And how long do you have to churn? Depends on how hot you got the fire. Uh, sometimes you can do it in five hours and sometimes it takes eight hours. How long have you been standing here? <laughs> Not that long. Uh, I've been here since nine, but some of these people have been here since the beginning. And to round off the old time theme of the event, the vintage baseball team, the Elkton Eclipse, took to the adjacent baseball field to play the Kennett Square Mohicans. <laughs> 